This is the onion Aitza Craig, named after a Scottish island, which looks like an onion almost. Uh, half of it. I'm doing a multi sowing uh, uh, of this onion in clumps. Uh, multi sowing is, is a way to save actually on the seed and on the space that you have. It means that this. Uh, seeds will grow together become seedlings and then you plant them as a whole with each module will be one uh, location in the soil and they will grow as a clump uh, as a clump they grow together and uh, when they grow they push each other a little bit away they make a space for themselves and that way you will have instead of one plant onion you will have several onions this is a way of a space saving I was doing it many times before with the uh, broad beans especially uh, uh, and with the uh, runner beans especially and French beans those kind of beans and uh, uh, peas but this year um, I did it also with onion this year I'm trying to do with more varieties I know that John uh, uh, Charles Doring was actually doing it uh, I did it first then I learned that also he has done it he's doing it for a long time and uh, that's the way of saving uh, uh, space and uh, getting a crop into small space and also saving time because you, you grow several seedlings in one space uh, in a smaller space of course so we will see how they will do today is the 5th of the March I think and uh, this multi sowing uh, of the onion Oils uh, Craig is done in our new greenhouse. I built it with uh, from the window pane, so I can just have an hour work surface to work on. Huh? It's the time to sow some onions from seed for as a spring uh, salad. So onion North Holland blood red red mate. It's a good variety because you can use it as a spring onion or you can leave it in the ground just use it as a bulb onion it produces medium bulbs so I'm going to sow in this module some of this onion just to help the seeds uh, germinate better within a firm anchored compact soil with the roots being firmly established I compress the compost with two fingers like that get sure that uh, it is it is firm enough now in these holes automatically I can plant my sow my seeds so this is the seed and this is the packet CN seeds and uh, as you see outside is really windy treacherous but here I'm safe I'm all right warm <laughs> it's a luxury now I can enjoy now I'm going to put uh, five or four seeds in each of these modules now I've sown the seeds, as you see here, those black coal shaped uh, tiny seeds, particles, grains, and I just covered them. Uh, for that I can also use a little bit of compost, which I will do. Now I have covered it with compost, I just press them to make sure that the seeds are anchored well in the soil, and when they grow their roots, uh, they're also well established, they will not be uh, too easy to move, the roots will have a good uh, uh, anchor uh, to actually stick to and grow into and it will be easy also to move them, remove them when I want to plant them in the soil so uh, we will see how it will be turning on. you just press on top of them gently and make sure that they are covered and this is a module tray that I have uh, the thing is that it has a mat under it and uh, you can fill it with water the container under it and the mat will seep the felt uh, will bring the water gradually to where the plant is needing it also as a cover I can put it on top of it and of course I have to Get rid of this growing point of a weed. <coughs> and as you see, onions, spring onions, 
Red Holland is really doing well. And uh, they have grown, they have seeded, they have uh, yeah, germinated. And uh, yeah, we may have some good crop from this. Yeah. These are the multi sown onions that are planted in the soil. They were sown from the seed. And when they planted them in the soil, they, it was the 7th of May. And today, in the August 13th, I harvested them. So you can see how they developed over the month. This is the multi sown onions from the seed that have grown. I've already harvested once. Today, I harvested a few little bits. And what happened is that uh, I don't have the time actually because I'm working. My time is always taken by the watering process. Because of the drought, it takes a long time to water the whole allotment. And our allotment is full of crop. So we need to water at least some of them, the most important ones. So I'm a little lagging behind on reading. In this Nordic bed, which uh, actually was on a very weedy bindweed area. I could manage it now, but uh, I have to spend a little bit of time to remove all the weeds, most of the weeds. But so far it's doing well. The onion and the onions are bulbing up well. The only thing I have to do is to water them as much as I can. This is a multi sound uh, uh, onions from the seed. Oh, yeah. you're pulling them up yeah. to eat. No, yeah, I'm pulling them up. Oh, no, look at that. Can I see that? Yeah. Can I see? No, 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 that's too, yeah. keep that. We can pick the bigger the ones. The big ones always seem to be at the centre. So. And when you yeah. remove the big ones, yeah. the little ones will have the time to grow. I don't think those are very big. Here, we have some big ones here. Okay, fine. Yeah. Mm. You have to weed here also. Oh, God, yeah. Here. We'll have a I've, I've lifted this one. Uh, I think for the moment that's enough, huh? Yeah, yeah, I need some onions, so I've got them. There's that's enough. Um, leave it. Yeah, let me pick it. Okay. Give the little ones a chance to try. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Put them back. Push them down. That's it. So. This bed needs a little more water. Yeah, onions have grown well. Can I see what you have? Mm -hmm. Oh, how many? Well, it's lovely. Know. So we grow. We eat this one, and the rest of it will grow. I think six or seven. But I'll dry them. I'll leave them to dry. Mm -hmm. so the skin's you can use them also immediately if you want. Most of this bed, if you remember, was uh, ready. It is a multi sound onions, and uh, they have done well. It's August, middle of the August almost, and I have to lift them so to prepare the land for the next crop, for autumn and winter crops. So I'm going to do it now. I lift the onions, then I weed this, and then I add a mulch of compost, then I will cultivate on it, sow new seeds. This is a red onion, which has grown ginormous from the seed. I'm really happy with the quality, and I'm harvesting it now. Okay, this is the harvest of onions. I think this is around uh, 15 kilo of onions. And they have more than this. This is just uh, three quarters of the bed. These are the three quarters of one bed of onions that we have I laid them for two days to dry up a little bit then I'm now sorting them out according to size and I will take them to the polytunnel because there is a possibility of rain in the weather forecast so let me see what we can do here the onions are getting relatively dry we have some more to go but these are the ones that are already I decided to remove from the bed 
They are multi-sound and they have been grown originally from the seed. Is that they were sown in the last uh, year, December, I think. Then uh, in May, early May, we planted them in the bed in uh, final position, I mean, and in clumps. And from May to July, they grow. Now it is the early to May, a middle of the August, we lifted them. We lifted three times, but this is the final of the three quarters of the one bed. We have around uh, several other birds, half beds and a quarter of bed available yet. And uh, so it took May, June, July, three months to grow to this size, some of them. We already have eaten the bigger ones. We picked and uh, used, and then according to what we needed again, we came and picked again. And this gave the opportunity to a smaller ones to push the other ones aside and just grow. When you pick the big one, the smaller ones can grow better. Well, I've sorted them out. These are the larger ones. These are the medium sized onions, and these are the medium to small. And uh, of course, these are the ones you can use. Here. Or you can even use them as a seed for next year, set some of them, but probably I will eat them anyway. Uh, practically that means you will not need to buy sets because you have a lot of small ones. These are the small onions that you can grow as a uh, set yourself. You will have onions from set. So this is the onions from three quarters of a bed. That has been harvested three times before that also, so... Look at this is where...